Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our Nothing to Something series. This is part two and if you guys haven't seen part one, I definitely suggest you go check that out first. But for just a little recap, in part one we started with unpainted zombie wheels, valued at around 50 credits, which we traded up to an inventory worth about 1000. There's 530 credits, a Dominus GT, a Dominus MDGA decal in black, fairly popular titanium white proton boost, and some cheap lime septum wheels. So hopping into our trades, for the first one I decided to pick up a Fennec for 470 credits. I mentioned how I feel that the unpainted Fennec is one of the most popular items to trade right now, and I also mentioned you gotta spend credits to make credits, so we're gonna be looking to make some profitable deals off the Fennec. Next up, I thought I would show a trade which I actually declined. I get a lot of these, and I would guess for every trade that I do make, there's about 5 to 10 that I actually decline. This guy was trying to trade for my Fennec, and he offered me 19 items and 30 credits in return. I think this trade also summarizes a lot of things you need to keep in mind when you're looking for profitable deals. The first thing is the actual value of all the items. Because there was 19 items, I didn't individually calculate every single one, but I think if I did, I wouldn't be looking at that much profit. We're also taking my single Fennec, which is easy to negotiate with, it's easy to list trades on websites, and we're converting it to 19 items. Swamping your inventory like that can make it very difficult and time consuming to do deals. Last thing to keep in mind is I feel a lot of these items are on the lower end of popularity. A lot of them are rocket pass items, which are pretty much oversaturated, there's tons of supply, not much demand, so they're going to be tough to trade. Next trade, very standard one, was looking for 40 credits for my Lime Septum wheels, and I managed to get that. For the next trade, we managed to snipe a really good deal. Now in trading, I feel snipe can mean two things. You could either snipe or steal someone else's trade, which is kind of frowned upon and thought of to be a scummy move. But here we've got the other variation of a snipe, which means you're the first person to take a really good deal. They've just posted the trade, you add them very quickly, get into the trade window very quickly, and you've sniped yourself a good deal. Here we sold the Fennec for 600 credits. Normally the max would be around 550, and we bought it for 470, so we've made some really good profit. For the next deal, we're selling the Dominus GT for 100 credits. I was unfortunately not getting very good offers on the item, so I just decided to sell it for 20 credits more than we bought it for. Sometimes you might be holding onto an item that you're just struggling to sell, and you could get rid of it, try and trade something else that you might have more success with. For the next deal, we're buying another one of those Phoenix, having a lot of success with the item, so there's no reason not to pick one up, and I also think it's cool that we're trading to a white Fennec using all these unpainted ones. For the next trade, we're selling the Titanium White Proton for 250 credits. I think I initially valued this item at around 400 in the previous episode. I'm not exactly sure why I dropped it. I think the price may have been going down. I think I saw other sellers dropping it to around 300. So I put mine at 250 and I'm not too sad with this deal. I also gave away this jolted item that I got by logging into the game. For the next trade, we managed to hit one of the jackpots on our Fennec. I mentioned that I get a lot of trades that I do decline, but if you keep at it, you'll eventually get a good deal, just like this one. Now here we've got some fairly popular items. You've got the Labyrinth, it's a black market decal. Not the most popular one, but it's still quite desired. You've also got some Saffron Looper wheels, which are striker certified, and I think I can get two times the base value for these. Finally, there's a Titanium White Guardian, decently popular car, it's Titanium White, which is also a good thing, and I think I can get 100 credits for this one. If you tally everything up, I think you're looking at around 250 to 300 credits profit through this item overpay. The next trade is for those Saffron Striker Looper Wheels. Now the minimum price I was trying to get out of these was around 350 to 400 credits. I do think I was a bit lazy with this trade. I probably should have started at around 500, dropped it to 450, dropped it to 400, but I ended up just listing it at 350 
which was my lowest price. I got invited very quickly for this trade, which can be an indicator that I sold the item for lower than I should have. If you guys ever run into a situation where you list a trade and very quickly you got an invite or even multiple invites, don't be afraid to decline those trades. From there you can list the item at a higher price point and lower it from there. I listed the labyrinth at a standard high price of around 400 credits. A guy invited me, said he only had 380, but then he threw in these Lime Z row wheels. Think I can get 30 to 40 credits for these? So I'm happy with this trade. For the next deal, I made one which I'm not too happy with. I mentioned how I feel painted octanes are great items to trade, simply because there's a lot of demand for them. However, after buying this octane, I noticed that the prices of a lot of octanes seem to be going down. A price sheet like RL.Insider has these very useful graphs that you can look at. Now I don't think you need to do that for every single item, but I think if you're buying single big items, maybe worth a thousand plus credits, it can be handy to just take 30 seconds and have a look at the graph. Now because I was a bit concerned about the price dropping, I didn't want to hold onto the Crimson Octane for too long. I then sold it for 1030 credits, which is some profit, but had we held onto the Crimson Octane, we might have even made ourselves a loss. For the next trade, we've got a very standard one, selling the Lime Zedro wheels for 30 credits. Now if we have a look at our inventory, you can see we've got a lot of credits and only two items to work with. Very important that we look for something to buy. And in this trade, we're picking up a pink fennec for 500 credits. Pink is not the best color, unfortunately. I would say it's in the lower half of things, but I still think we can look to maybe sell this for around 600 credits. It's also a fennec. Fennecs are very popular and it keeps with the spirit of this trading series. And speaking of the spirit, we're picking ourselves up another Fennec at the 470 credit price range. Now I think another mistake I was making is I was buying these very easily at 470 or 480 credits. I should have started at the very cheap end of around 450 and slowly worked my way up to 460 and then 470. For the next trade, another simple one, selling that Guardian for 100 credits. And then for today's final trade, another item overpay for a Fennec. We've got the 2020 Golden Egg, which is pretty popular right now, and I can get 90 credits for that. There's then three non-crate very rares, very popular for doing trade-ups, and on PC I can get a minimum of 50 credits for these. And then you have some of the most popular toppers in the game. You've got two Jolt Bangles and four Phoenix toppers. Two of those toppers are also Titanium White, which sell pretty well on PC. So although we're trading our single Fennec for 10 items, all 10 of those items are very popular to trade. Also, if you tally up the values, I would say it works out to around 1,100, which is double the value of our Fennec, and it's a fantastic item overpay. Now let's take a look at our inventory at the end of this episode. If we tally up everything, I think we're looking at around 2,200 credits. Titanium White Fennec has dropped slightly on PC to around 2,800, so we're very close to our target. Some things to keep in mind with this inventory, we've been stuck with that black MDGA decal for quite some time. It's a specific decal, a specific color for a specific car, so I don't think there's too much demand for it, which is why we're struggling to sell it. Gonna have to just keep dropping the price on that, and hopefully it can get sold. As for the rest of our items, all pretty popular, that's good to see, so they should be easy to sell. Another thing to keep in mind is that I've been avoiding getting duplicates in these trading series. I could have very easily bought two unpainted Phoenix, and if you were selling it for credits that would have been fine, but I was instead looking for these item overpays. In a case like that, having duplicates means that you can only get offers for one of them. But those are all the trades and all the tips for today's episode. If you've got any additional questions, let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys are enjoying these kind of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. But that's all from me, my friends, and I'll see you guys in the next video.